So if you're a video editor and you're using an Intel processor in your computer to edit things on, then make sure that you're not losing out on performance. Now, I didn't believe this, but I wanted to check this myself. By doing the like little iGPU on and off before and after, I got that 17% better in the standard benchmark on Puget Bench on Premiere Pro and 13% better or better performance in the extended score. Now, there isn't that much of a difference in DaVinci Resolve, but in Premiere Pro, so if you're a Premiere Pro user, make sure that your iGPU is turned on. Let me show you how. So if you don't know if your iGPU is on or off, go to the task manager like that, go to the performance and here on the GPU you should be seeing Intel UHD graphics. So if you're using the 11th gen, which I have over here, this is 750. Here on the, if you're using 10th gen and before it might be 630 or if you're earlier that might be even more. But basically this is the integrated graphics. Now if you have a dedicated graphics as well, you might be seeing here like either AMD Radeon or Nvidia GeForce RTX, something like that then you'd see like these here as well. But make sure that you have the Intel one. If you have a dedicated graphics and you only see Radeon or Nvidia, then it means that it's not turned on. So let me show you how to turn it on. If you see it here on Task Manager, that means it's turned on. But in order to turn it on, what we have to do is restart the PC. Once you see the boot screen, start hitting the lead button to go into the BIOS. Another thing to mention is that if you're using previous generation processors, then the actual dif difference might not be as much because the new Intel iGPU is quite good. The biggest difference what you're gonna see when video editing on Premiere Pro is timeline performance. Make sure that you turn that iGPU on so you have a good timeline performance. Okay, hitting that delete button, and I think I was on time this time. Okay, it's okay. So now we are in BIOS. Now it depends which motherboard you are using. I am using the ASUS ROG motherboard over here. So if you have a different motherboard, it might be somewhere else. So what I'd recommend you do is like Google, okay, iGPU settings in Gigabyte board, MSI board, something like that, ASRock board, then you'd see them. For me, these are on the advanced configuration and I'll go to system agent configuration and here on the graphics configuration. And as you can see, the iGPU is enabled and disabled. If I press disabled, that's it. The iGPU inside the processor is disabled, but because I don't have a dedicated graphics right now, I wouldn't be able to even see it. So I would press enable so I can have the graphics on. So make sure that this is on. Then what you do is you go to exit, no, uh, exit and then go save changes and reset. I didn't make any changes, so it goes back to your system. So that's how simple it is. If you're editing on Premiere Pro, make sure that your iGPU is on. If you're on DaVinci Resolve, I'd still leave it on, even though I didn't see that much of a performance difference because some of the H.265 codecs are accelerated on the iGPU, but they aren't accelerated on your dedicated graphics, whether it's Nvidia or AMD graphics. So I'd still leave it on and you'd get the same performance, but sometimes in some of the cases, in some codecs, you'd get an extra performance boost. Likes if you enjoyed it, subs if you'd like to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.